This is London Calling. Good afternoon all. It's 1.15pm. And I'd say April showers, but you can hear that thunder. We're in May showers. And uh, it's the morning or afternoon after the night before. What a wonderful, wonderful day we had. My daughter's wedding yesterday. I'm about to smoke this uh, Astley sort of freehand Dublin. It's a beautiful pipe. It's got some lovely grain on it. I don't smoke it that often these days because um, it's a pipe which I've dedicated to Latakia blends. But this morning, or this afternoon rather, I'm going to be smoking some uh, McClellan's Bombay Extra. Um, I got a, a bag from Tim, Wolf Valley Boy. And um, I can't remember if I did a video of it or not, so I probably did. But I'll let you know what I think of it while I'm talking. Um, so, the wedding was amazing. Um, the day started, well, for the women it started quite early. It started around 9am, getting all the hair and the makeup and the wedding dress and all of that stuff um, sort of on the go. Um, the photographer arrived at, and the videographer arrived at around 12.30 and basically shadowed us for the rest of the day. Um, they were very good. We started off going to the park, which you've seen in my videos before around the corner. So it's really fortunate that we have uh, that park. The weather was glorious. It was actually extremely hot. We were supposed to get, we've been having sort of, um, lightning uh, storms, like electric storms almost, um, for the past couple of days. And uh, we were supposed to be getting thundering, lightning and rain uh, during the uh, service and during the ceremonies and so on. And part of the ceremony is done outdoors. Um, so um, we were having part of it outdoors and uh, we were really concerned that we were going to get completely soaked. But the weather absolutely really just turned out to be spot on. It was sunny, sun was shining, it was hot. It was the perfect weather for an uh, outdoor wedding. And um, the catering worked out well, so everybody enjoyed themselves. There was uh, the odd libation or two available as well. We had some nice uh, single malts going around. And um, before, after the afternoon reception, there was a little bit of a break before the dinner. So I managed to get home. I even managed to get a pipe in, which I didn't think I would. Then we headed out to the dinner. A beautiful affair. Very, very nice. We officially had 320 people, but I think uh, we ended up having to put up another table or two because more people turned up. And we don't quite know how that happened because dinner invitations are specific dinner invitations. Um, whereas reception invitations are, you know, come to the afternoon reception, but uh, dinner is a sit down affair, which is by invite only. So I'm not quite sure how that happened. But uh, anyway, we got another table up. Everybody was happy, we sat down, had a lovely, lovely meal. I hadn't written my speech. I was chairman for the evening, um, and my speeches was split in two, and I finished them at 2 a.m. the night before. I'd only started them at about 1 a.m. or half past 12, and uh, in fact, when I did the, the London calling, and I gave away that pipe and tobacco, 
um, that impromptu go is as I was writing that speech and I just felt an overwhelming need to be to show my gratitude to the YTPC and that's why I did that video on the spur of the moment and um, that was when I was right in the middle in the middle of writing my speech Okay, so this Bombay Extra is, has got a lovely, if I didn't know different, I'd say there was Syrian Latakia in there, uh, but I don't know if it is or isn't. I'm going to guess it's Cyprian, but it really tastes very refined. It's got a lovely smoky sweet flavour. It's a little bit reminiscent of Northwoods, but perhaps a little bit nuttier and not quite as sweet as Northwoods. It's a little bit drier, if you like, on the flavour, but it's very nice. I can see why Tim likes this stuff. Tim's got a good stock of it, and I can see why. The uh, wedding day itself finished at uh, just after half past two in the morning. But um, we all went home, and we were all high as kites. Uh, so we were just uh, hanging around, had something to eat, and just talking, looking at pictures on our phones, and just having a great time. I personally didn't get to sleep till about uh, half four, quarter to five in the morning. And my youngest daughter was in our room already by about uh, half past eight, nine o'clock. So we're all a bit knackered. The celebrations in our community go on for about for a week, so it'll be a rather tiring week. But that's all to the good. This tobacco is actually very very nice. The Latakia in this blend, the smokiness, is also reminiscent of plum pudding. Um, I categorize Latakia blends into two categories. One is campfire, and the other one is sweet, searing, musty Latakia. When I say searing, I, I find it hard to describe, but it's like a, a, a white flavor. If, it, if that makes any sense to you, like a searing, sharp, white kind of flavor, smokiness but it's, it's a very bright smokiness with a bit of mustiness and a little bit of sweetness. And that's my preferred Latakia flavor. Some people like a really strong charcoal, campfire smoky um, kind of uh, flavor, whereas I'm more on the sweeter side of things. So for me, things like Penzance, uh, special Latakia flake, plum pudding, um, uh, and so to bed, um, Royal Jersey, um, those kind of tobacco, Northwoods obviously, and those kind of tobaccos really are what I go for. A lot of people compare Quiet Nights um, to, to Penzance, and it's for that reason that I don't compare it. I find that Quiet Nights is not quite, it's there, but not quite there. There's a little bit more campfireiness to that. Um, and I find that the um, that's where it differs a little bit from Penzance. It really does remind me a lot of plum pudding. Um, this uh, Bombay Extra. I don't get much in the way of Virginia's from this at all. Um, this is all about the. Latakia. There's a little bit of Orientals, I think, in there. I can get that. And I get a bit of earthiness coming in from somewhere. But it's very nice. I'm enjoying it.
it's in no danger of knocking northwards off my number one spot, but uh, Vintage Syrian by McBaron um, for me is a little bit it's a, it's a it's a fa it's a strong favorite, but it's not number one, which it was for a while. But it's not number one only because it's a little bit too rich, a little bit too full to smoke on a regular basis for me. Northwood still is without a doubt my number one. It just ticks the boxes. Anyway, I've uh, bored you for long enough. I just wanted to check in after the wedding, let you know how it went. Um, we're all still on a high. Uh, the groom, uh, a lovely, lovely, sweet kid. Uh, he had a lot of friends who came to the wedding. A couple who actually came in from abroad, from overseas. And uh, they came up to me, many of them, and just, you know, were effusive about his character and about what a sweet guy he is. And uh, we've seen that already so far, and we're delighted. Uh, hopefully my daughter is just as delighted. I do have a, a go to be doing, um, but I, I'm not sure that I'll be doing it in the very near future. Um, but hopefully in the next uh, week, perhaps, I'll get that together. So for now, I'm going to bid you adieu. Thank you very much, everybody who sent messages. I really, really appreciate it. There was messages abound on uh, IG and on Facebook, which I'm very grateful for, and on, on the previous video as well. Thank you very much to everybody. I'll try to respond to all the messages in due course, uh, but I really, really appreciate it. I really felt supported, and I really felt that you guys were with me. Um, so I really appreciate it. Thank you very, very much from the bottom of my heart. And uh, please, God, uh, you will all um, enjoy and experience your own celebrations in your own lives. Thank you very much. Catch you on the next one. This is London Calling.